Hello, my name is Dr. Sam Carter and I'm an orthopedic specialist with Norton Orthopedics. I'm also a sports medicine specialist as part of the Norton Sports Health Team. I'm going to talk to you today a little about running injuries. There are four periods when running injuries generally occur. Uh, the first four to six months when someone takes up running, uh, injuries are very common. There's also a time frame after someone is returning from an injury when running injuries also crop up. Um, also when someone increases their distance, uh, such as the mileage more than they are ready for, or when they increase their speed. These are all times when injuries uh, seem to occur. Now most of these injuries can be prevented. Uh, they're usually due to improper training, either through an improper warm-up, uh, sudden increases in mileage or sudden increases in hill training, um, and periods of not enough rest between runs. Um, if you are running, uh, these are some signs to look for when it's time to change your training regimen or to stop altogether and take a break. If you get pain during running, um, it's usually not a good idea to try to push through that. It's better to stop and let that pain go away. Uh, a more serious problem is when you have pain at rest, either after running or even on days off if you have re uh, pain, that can uh, definitely be an issue. If you develop a limp, any injury that's serious enough in the lower extremity to develop a limp is a sign that you should slow down. If you develop sleeplessness at night due to pain, especially in the legs, uh, this can be a sign that you're running too much. A stiffness in joints, especially the knees, hips, or ankles, um, is a sign that that joint is overworked. Uh, headaches, uh, either during or after running, or dizziness at any time, is definitely a warning sign that maybe your training is uh, overboard and you need to stop and maybe even see a physician at that point. Especially if you develop any shortness of breath during or after your run, it could be a form of exercise-induced asthma, and it's definitely an issue that you need to see a physician for. Now, the most common injuries that I see from runners um, are stress fractures, which is basically just from overuse. The bone is unable to handle all the stress and the weight of running, and it develops a, a fracture, which can develop into a true fracture and actually need surgery. So we need to catch these in time and treat them so that they don't develop into a serious problem. Shin splints is another very common injury. Uh, there are several different conditions that people call shin splints. They usually all involve pain in the lower leg. Um, some can be uh, exercise induced and they start a few miles into your run and some can definitely cause pain even after you run. All of these require some rest and even some physical therapy at times uh, to prevent them from recurring. Achilles tendonitis is a common problem in runners and that's pain um, in the tendon behind the heel uh, this can become a serious problem and can even lead to tendon rupture if it's not addressed. And probably the most common thing is muscle strains just from overuse or overwork. Uh, the standard treatment for most of these injuries is the RICE protocol, which is uh, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Uh, the rest is self-explanatory. You need to take some time off, give the body a chance to heal. Uh, ice is good for most running injuries, uh, if you have, especially if you have swelling or redness. Uh, in a joint. You can ice the joint for 20 to 30 minutes at a time, several times a day, and that'll help reduce the inflammation and the swelling. Compression usually involves uh, an ACE wrap or some type of elastic bandage to help reduce swelling. And then elevation. If you can keep the joint, such as the knee or ankle, above the level of the heart, that will help keep the swelling under control. In addition to the RICE protocol, an oral anti-inflammatory medication can definitely help. An over-the-counter medication like ibuprofen or naproxen, uh, as long as you don't have any allergies or any reasons not to take that, uh, can definitely help with these uh, problems. You may want to check with your physician first before starting a medicine like this. Um, if you do have any serious problems, you should definitely see your physician, either your primary care physician, or if you have a musculoskeletal injury, you can see us here at uh, Norton Orthopedics. To make an appointment with the sports health team, you can call 502-629-1234, or you can check us out on the web. Just remember that during your running training, the most important thing you can do to prevent or catch an injury is to listen to your body. It'll tell you what to do. For Norton Sports Health, I'm Dr. Sam Carter.